Okay, for 1B, we're following the same thing. We're going to look at what uh, strategies we can use uh, or techniques in order to do this. Since we have two fractions, once again, whenever you see two fractions, you want to get common denominators with these in order to show that the left-hand side will equal the right-hand side. Also, what I noticed here uh, is the secant. I can change that into a cosine, so I want to do that as well. So I'm going to kind of do two... Uh, techniques at once. I'm going to get common denominators and then I'm going to put in a 1 over cosine for the secant x. So let's do that. First, this one has the cosine x in the bottom that we need, but it's missing 1 minus sine x, so I'll multiply top and bottom by 1 minus sine x. Next, this one over here has the 1 minus sine x but we're missing the cosine x, so I'll multiply top and bottom by cosine x. On the right hand side, I have a 2 here, which I can express that as 2 over 1, and then I'll put in a cosine x in place of the secant. So I've kind of done those two strategies. Next thing we want to do is get a common denominator, so we're going to write all this over a single denominator, which and this problem is going to be cosine x, 1 minus sine x. So those two multiplied together. Again, we'll leave it in the factored form. We'll multiply out through the top. This one, we're going to do 1 times 1 is 1. And we have a minus sine x. And another minus sine x. We're going to get a minus 2 sine x. And then plus sine x and sine x will be sine squared. It'll be a plus because you've got two negatives multiplied together. Now on the end, we got cosine and cosine, and we have cosine squared. When you multiply this across the top, across the bottom, you'll get 2 over cosine x. Like the last problem, what you want to do is look for special identities. We have another special identity right here. We have the sine squared x plus cosine squared x, which we can turn that into a 1. So all that we're going to turn into a 1 on the next step. So again, I'll put the next step above here since we have some limited real estate here. Uh, so when we rewrite that on the top, 1 minus 2 sine x, and then I have plus 1. So again, this right here, sine squared plus cosine squared, all that is the 1 that you have uh, right here. So that's already written together. We can just write it, turn it into a 1. We still have the bottom one cosine x times 1 minus sine x. Okay. Now, for this problem, both of these are going to be like terms, so we can add the 1 and the 1 together, and that's going to give us a 2. So on this line right here, so again, hopefully you have all that, I'm going to rewrite this. This top part now is equal to 2 minus 2 sine x. Again, if we're still trying to make this equal to the right-hand side, the right-hand side I'm not going to do anything with. I'll keep that as uh, 2 over cosine, which I should have written here as well. You want to keep that same thing all the way down uh, as you do your proof. Now, the next thing we want to do as far as techniques is this top part is something that we can factor. So I'm going to factor out a 2, and I get 1 minus sine x down below. So I factored out a 2. That's another one of our uh, techniques. And I'm going to cancel out these two 1 minus signs. And when you do that, you do get both sides equal. The last step I'll just show over here, you'll get 2 over cosine x equals 2 over cosine x. Uh, and the problem is solved. So we kind of work through all the way. Again, I'm kind of going you know, backwards on here because of limited space, but we put the 1 in for the co sine squared plus cosine squared. We simplify the like terms here. We factor out a 2, and then we cancel out the 1 minus sine, leaving us with both sides equal. Now, on the test, it doesn't matter if you take an extra step and you make it 2 secant equals 2 secant and just leave it 2 secant as you go all the way down, that's fine. I'm just basically looking for, can you show me that two sides are equal? So your answers on these problems ends up being all the work that you see here. So 
you might make sure you want you show as much work as possible on the test when you do these kind of problems because uh, you don't want to just jump from here and magically just end up with the answer. Make sure you kind of show me the path in between that.